Good afternoon, everybody. Glenn Tompkins here. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I've got another installment of low dollar, high potential stocks. If you're interested to see what my next installment of stocks are, you sit right there. Hi everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Always love doing these videos. Love interacting with you guys. I'm thankful that you guys are responding to the videos that I've been putting out. And if you haven't already, please go back, either hit the like button or respond and tell me what you think about these videos. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, still trying to grow our subscriber base. Hit the bell icon so you'll be updated to all of the new content that comes out. And by all means, please, please like the content. The more you like it, the more YouTube will share this video amongst all of the people in YouTube land. YouTube land. All right, with that, let's get right into the stocks. All right, so today I've got three more stocks to give you. Seems like you guys have really liked these low dollar high potential stocks. So I've got three more. Interesting in that I can only find news on one of them. And this one is Next, E-N-E-X-T. Why is Next Decade uh, stock skyrocketing again today? And I, I went a different route in finding you the stocks this time. I wanted to look at the stocks that were making the biggest move today. So this is the fourth different way that I'm trying to help you to find these low dollar stocks. So I strictly went off of price action and then I tried to do a little bit of digging to find out what's going on behind the stocks. And again, only one stock gave me some recent news on it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We'll talk about it. So uh, next decade is in the LNG field, the liquefied natural gas. Remember when that was the craze way back a couple of years ago? Well, guess what? Now the situation and the atmosphere is getting good again for LNG, and this stock could definitely take off in regards to that space. Now, there's two stocks in this space that um, I'm going to talk about. Uh, catapulted today by 53% by 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday. That's today. The stock made a big move today. As I'm going to go down here, it shows me that fueling that upgrade is the analysts' uh, increasing bullish view on LNG markets, which they see shifting in favor of developers along the U.S. golf course. A uh, call, a uh, coast. Wow, golf coast. You can tell there's a lot of golf on my mind and the weather's getting right for it. The analyst also noted that buyers are increasingly signing uh, new long-term LNG purchase agreements that could enable next decade to rival Tellura, Tellurian, Tellurian? I tear up some words terribly. Ticker symbol tell to secure enough new contracts to move forward with the LNG development projects. Tellurian already has signed two sizable deals in recent weeks, putting it close to approving its Driftwood LNG project. And next decade has a project going on in the Rio, uh, Rio Grande, uh, should be able to secure contracts given its focus on producing low carbon LNG. So we all know that we're trying to reduce our carbon footprint on the planet. And not only is the space looking good for next um, decade, but the process by which they're going after the liquefied natural gas uh, could be appealing to investors as well. So that was the only news that I could find on any of the three stocks. So let's get into the software. And here's my stocks. Now you'll notice I have uh, Antelope Enterprises, I got Everglory, and there's Next Decade. Notice that all of these stocks were up very nicely for the day, and that was the premise for me looking for these stocks. So what I like about the stocks is that there's not a ton of news behind all of them. And that could be under the radar that these stocks have moved up. But the question is, is the move up today sustainable? So let's analyze these stocks. My other stock is AHL. If we scroll over, nice move up today. Uh, it's in the building industry. We all know that building is rocking and rolling. This is a low dollar stock in that space, trading at now $3.85. Let's do further analy analysis on it. 
Upside potential, relative value, this stock should outperform a AAA corporate bond by 21%. Now, that shows me that the stock has got good possibility for upside potential. It's going to give up a little safety, though. It's going to be a little bit more of a risky stock to get that upside potential. And look at that. RT tells me that the stock is in an uptrend right now. The stock is a buy recommendation, positive earnings. And look at that earnings growth rate of 17% a year. So, that's in the building industry. That could be a good low dollar stock that is undervalued at this time to make a big move in the market. Everglory, EVK up 17, almost 20% today. Let's scroll over. Where is that at? That's in the apparel. All right. So now as summer comes along, more people are going out to get summer clothes. Apparel market should start rocking and rolling going into the summer months because people are getting over the pandemic, getting past the pandemic. People are going to do a lot more traveling. Look at that apparel uh, industry as an industry that's rocking and rolling. Let's do this. Let's right click on that stock. Let's go look at the industry graph for apparel. We'll do that real quick. Look at that. That's over the last hour. Let's go to the last six months. As I mentioned, keep your eye on the industry. Now, let's go, there we go, it's bouncing all over the place. Bottom left, top right, a little bit of consolidation going on right now. I do have a 20-day moving average on the stock. The stock is currently above, bouncing off a level of support. You know what I like about this industry? Look at the earnings for the industry rising. Look at the earnings growth rate for the industry rising. I like that we are in a little bit of a consolidation above the 20-day Moving average, I'd like to see the industry take out its high for the most recent six month time period, but I like earnings. Earnings is the engine that drives the stock's price higher. So as I look at the stock in an industry that's bouncing off support above a 20 day moving average, approaching a level of resistance, that could spell good things for the company. Let's go to the next decade again. Stock's trading at 569 with a value of 36 cents. Hmm, LNG, that whole market got beat up a lot. So the value of that stock in that industry is not good. The stock is trading at $5.67. Upside potential right now because it's beaten up, not good. Relative safety, it is a risky stock, but what's happening? The stock is definitely in the move. So the fundamentals behind the stock is not there. This is strictly um, more of a speculative check, uh, a speculative um, play at this particular point in time. Negative earnings, negative earnings growth rate. So why are you showing me this stock? Well, the whole idea is to try to buy low and sell high, but find the stocks to buy low at the right time. So let's do this. Let's highlight this. Oh, actually, before we do that, let me right click. Let's go look at the industry graph for that space. All right. It's in the petroleum. We all know what's going on with petroleum. Gas and petroleum is rising big time right now. Why? Because we're now using our resources for oil and not having an oversupply. Bottom left, top right, look at that. A little bit of a pullback, but look at that. Above the 20-day moving average, rising, rising, rising. Settling in right now, but nice move on the industry by volume. Rising earnings, rising earnings per share, bottom left, top right. I like looking at some of these stocks that you may not know about and looking at their industries because birds of a feather flock together. If the industry is rising, the stocks within the industry should be rising as well. The fundamentals are not there. The, in, the earnings per share is not there. The earnings growth is growing, but still at a negative clip. It's at a less negative clip than it was six months ago. So now, as we looked at the industries, let's go highlight the graphs and let's go, let's go highlight the stocks and look at the graphs, put them on a six month as well. Here's that AEHL. Now it's in that building industry. And you know, like I said, I didn't find any news on this. What's that big wick at the top? A lot of people got into this stock because the stock gapped up. A lot of people took profits or it's pulling back. So this is where that question of sustainability sets in. Big move on the stock today on big volume. I like the earnings per share. I like the earnings growth rate. But does the stock have the ability to keep moving up? Is there still enough behind it? And again, 
no major news on the stock. So I do have a level of current support right now sitting at a value of $3.39. And so we're still above that. Let's see if the stock's price has the ability to stay above it. And let's see if more people have the wherewithal to drive the stock's price higher. But that candlestick pattern is known as a shooting star and it actually could be a bearish scenario. But I like that it's in the building industry and that not only did the stock move it moved on big volume and again i could not find any specific news on it this is one that i would definitely keep my eye on i wouldn't bet the farm behind it all right let's go to the next one which is evk i like the idea that as the stock has pulled back it's found a level of support it bounced off support got above that 20-day moving average and look at that move up look at the earnings per share look at the earnings growth rate both rising nicely could this be an opportunity to get in early possibly big wick at the at the top of the candle here a lot of selling pressure but i like this high sitting at four dollars and 85 cents over the last six months i've got some opportunity to make some money to the upside i like that the downward trend could possibly have been getting broken if i were to draw a free hand line from that high connecting that high look at that action today by way of the action today we did jump above the downtrend the body is still in the downtrend but a lot of move with a lot of volume all right something again to keep your eyes on both of these are speculative plays and then we go to next uh, next decade that was the one that had the news behind it with the lng big move up not a lot of wick to the upside so the bulls behind it were jumping it up there's not a lot of give back but something that does catch my attention too is that it looks a little parabolic. Does it have sustainability? Earnings per share though, a little lower than it was um, six months ago, but the earnings growth rate is growing, but steady, staying steady. Another stock that's got a possibility of, does it have sustainability? So today's picks were definitely a lot more aggressive and they could be opportunities to get in on the ground floor if they continue to move up. All I want you to do is take a look at them. And as I mentioned, all three of these stocks moved up nicely today. Do they have the wherewithal to move up tomorrow? If you decide to take any of them, make sure you buy higher than today's high to make sure you're buying into the stock as it continues to rise and not pull back. With that, folks, this video is over. Until the next time, see ya.